The Hopkinton and Marlboro Senior Ruth teams kicked off their best of three championship series on Thursday, August 13th. Scoreless game in the top of the third, Marlboro struck first. Waters set to deliver. And Brightfield gets a piece of this one, hit in the air over to right field, and that'll get down for a hit. Around first he goes, and he is aboard with a stand-up double to start off the top of the third. Line up and the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one, and that is going to be hit in the air and drop into left field. And the lead runner is going to slide in safely to third. So Breitenfeld is aboard at third. It is a single for Carroll. Water set to deal, and he walked him. That'll load up the bases for Marlboro with two outs. Line up and the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one in a left field, it goes. One run is in, a second runner being waved around, and it's going to be a two to nothing lead for Marlboro, the throw not there in time. A two RBI single for Cam Hunt. Two to nothing Marlboro in the bottom of the fourth, and the Hillers would get on the scoreboard. Hunt set to deal. And this is going to be hit up the middle and get through the gap for a two out single for Kelly. And that'll bring up Alex Barker Hook, the first baseman. Wind up and the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one. It is driven in the air to center field, deep center field. That'll drop in for a hit. And here comes Connor Kelly around to score a run. Barker Hook going to keep going over to third base, and he slides in with an RBI triple. It's a two to one game. What a piece of hitting by Alex Barker Hook, showing off the power there. And the Hillers cut the Marlboro lead in half. The Hillers trailing two to one in the bottom of the fifth, but the bats got going again. Set to deliver, leg left and the pitch, and he gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air over to left field, and that is going to drop way out there, and he's gonna keep on going to second base, and now he's gonna try for third. He slides in, he's safe, and it's a leadoff triple for Dylan Locke to start off the bottom of the fifth. The catcher showing off the power. Line up and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one up the left side. Bobbled by the third baseman, picks it up, throws the first. Did he get the out? Yes. But a run did score. Dylan Locke comes around. So a sacrifice RBI ground out allows Locke to score. Hunt set to deal. That is low and it's gonna get by the catcher and the runner is gonna try to score and he's safe. The Hillers take the lead. Matt Cooper scores on the pass ball and Hopkinton leads it three to two. Top of the seventh, Hillers leading three to two. Marlboro down to their final three outs. Game two will be at Marlboro High School tomorrow at 6.30. As this is hit right up the middle to Waters, one away. Set the deal, and this is going to be up the left side. Love by the shortstop, throw to first, two away. Marlboro down to their final out. He had a little bit of a struggle. Back in the third, but that's really about it. As this is hit up the right side, glove by the first baseman, he'll run it over and get the three unassisted ground out for out number three. Hopkinton takes the game with a late comeback. Three to two was the final. The Hillers took the lead in the series one to nothing. Friday, August 14th, Hopkinton and Marlboro met up for game two in Marlboro of the best of three series and all kinds of excitement happen in this one. Here's a look. Felt set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to right field. This could be trouble. And that is gonna drop deep into right field. 
Around first is Breslin, heading to second. He's going to try for third. There he goes to third. The throw in is cut off, and it's a stand-up triple to start things off for Jack Breslin. Set to deliver, and this is hit in the air over to shallow center field. Could be trouble, and that'll drop, and here comes a run in. Jack Breslin will score an RBI single for Dylan Locke. It's 1-0 Hillers. Set to deliver. There's a bunt up the left side. Slow roller, a very nice bunt picked up, and Sheamus is off the mark. Into right field it goes, and the lead runner, Matt Skillings, advances to third. So Smith aboard on the bunt, Skillings at third. Runners on the corners, one out for Marlboro. That'll bring up Hunter Stone, the catcher. And they're going to throw up, and did they get him? Yes, they did. A nice throw by Dylan Locke to catch Andrew Smith stealing. Skilling stays put at third. Four hits, two runs, both of which were earned and had seven strikeouts. As this is up the middle, and it's dropped by DeYoung to throw to first, not in time, and a run scores. It's a one-to-one -one game. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order due up for Marlboro. Commitments as well, so sometimes you don't have everybody on the roster available. This is hit up the left side, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first is not in time. The 2-2, and this is hit in the air over to left field. That'll get down for a hit. It'll be two on, no outs for Marlboro. Going to get a pitching change here for Hopkinton. It looks like Mike Bernie's going to take over on the mound. Jack Breslin will stay in the game. He's going to move over to left field, over to left field. Cam Hunt to the plate. And he'll get a bunt here, slow roller up the middle, picked up by Bernie. Throw to first is going to be Airmailed into foul territory. Runner from third is going to try to score, and he will. It's a 2-1 Marlboro lead. ERA, he's faced 15 hitters and struck out three as this is up the middle. Gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first, they'll get the out, but another Marlboro run comes around to score. Brett Federico around to make it a 3-1 lead. Top of the fourth inning, a 3-1 lead. For Marlboro, stepping to the plate, Connor Kelly, the right fielder. That's inside. And we have a hawk flying around here at Marlboro High School as it lands on the netting along the third base side. And there's the hawk on the net. And uh, we may have a hawk delay here at Marlboro. That thing came out of nowhere. There was another one flying around too. He's on the pole over there near the Marlboro bench area. And now he's climbing the net. Well, this is something. Unreal. And I think he just wanted to take in some baseball. So we have a hawk delay here in Marlboro. And now the other one's flying away, it looks like, or maybe not. No, he's going to stick around too. The netting's right in front of the Hopkinton bench area. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field. Could be trouble. That'll get down for a hit. Kelly around first, and he's going to think twice about it. He'll head back to first base as the hawk flies away. And oh, now it's just further downfield. Further along the third baseline now, as this is up the middle, slow roller. Breitenfeld picks it up, throw to first in time. Line up and the pitch. And this is ripped up the middle. Kelly is going to head to third. Is he going to try to score? No. But it will be runners on the corners with one out. Breitenfeld set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to left field to the fence. And that is going to drop in front of the fence. Left fielder gets to it. Here comes one run into score. Another runner behind him as Breslin's going to try to score. And he will. And we have a tie game. We're not it up at three apiece. A two RBI double for Dylan Locke. And he gets a piece of it into left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Will they send Dylan Locke? Yes, they will. Here he comes. And the Hillers lead it four to three. An RBI single for Cam Jarrett. 
High lift and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That'll get down for a hit. One run is in. Here comes another run to score. And will another one come? No. But two more runs are going to score for the Hillers. A two RBI double for Tommy Ambrosoni. And Cam will indeed signal the pitching change. We are in the top of the fourth inning. The Hillers continuing to rally. They have played it five runs in the inning, and they lead Marlboro six to three in game two. It's in high school turf. Outside, there's a walk to Kelly. And a run will score with the walk. Coming around to score is Scott Pagliuca. Set to deal, and he gets a piece of this one. Up the left side, into left field it goes. One run is in to score. Here comes another. Sheamus trying to score. He will as well. Now the throw to second is not in time. And it's a two RBI base hit for Alex Parker Hook. He winds, he deals. This is hit in the air over to left field. That'll get down for a hit. Here comes yet another run to score as Connor Kelly will cross. It's a 10 to three lead for the Hillers, an RBI single for Jack Breslin. Run fourth inning for Hopkinton. And this is up the left side, through the gap, into left field, and everyone will be safe. Bases reloaded for the Hillers. Wind up and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one, into right field it goes. One run is in, here comes another run. And he will score as well. A two RBI single for Cam Jarrett. Bases loaded for the Hillers. And this is hit in the air left side and caught. But the Hopkinton Hillers don't just rally, they really rally as they end up plating 11 runs in the fourth inning. And they lead it 12 to three as we end. Bottom of the seventh inning, Marlboro down to their final three outs. Trailing 14 to four. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three, one away. Solid baseball this summer. The Massachusetts Independent Baseball League did a great job at getting some Legion teams together for a season. There's strike three, two away. Second strikeout of the inning for Connor Kelly. Third since coming in. He's 0 for two today with a walk and a run scored. There's a strike. And that is out number three, and that will do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are 2020 Senior Ruth champions. They take down Marlboro in game two of this best of three series, 14 to four, after their three to two win yesterday. The Hopkinton Hillers 2020 Senior Ruth champions, a dominant win today as they put up 11 runs in the fourth inning. And that was pretty much the story of the game. They never look back, and they take the win 14-4 over Marlboro. The Hillers will finish the season overall with a, with a record of 12-4-1. A tremendous win here tonight in Marlboro by the Hillers. An 11-run top of the fourth and perhaps some Hawks. Propel the Hillers to the 14-4 victory over Marlboro, and they clinch the Senior Ruth Central Championship. The Hillers finish with 12 wins, 4 losses, and 1 tie overall. Congratulations on a great season to Coach Simos and all the members of the Hillers Senior Ruth team. Tom Nappy here, and we are here with a bunch of Hiller Senior Ruth Champions. Guys, how does it feel to call yourself Senior Ruth Champions? It feels it's fantastic. It feels great. It's insane. All right, so uh, we'll start over here. Um, so how was it playing with these guys all season long, and how does it feel to win a championship? You know, it was awesome. Last year I didn't try out for baseball, but I went to a few of the games and saw, you know, truly how much of a family it was, you know. When we break on family, it's it's truly a family. So I'm glad that I was able to be a part of that this year. And uh, what was it like for you playing with this group this season? And of course, uh, not having a spring season must have been tough, but 
it must have been good to get together in the summer and uh, play some senior root ball. Yeah, it was great to be with all my uh, all my senior friends uh, this one last time. We all grew up together playing baseball, so it was just a blast to be able to share the dime with them one last time. And how was your experience? How does it feel to call yourself a champion? It's definitely interesting because I've been the manager for three years, and this is the first time I actually got to play with these guys, and it just feels so relieving to be with them now. Do you prefer managing or playing? Both, honestly. I, wow. I can't I can't pick one. Just I can't. being part of the team, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, how was it for you, and uh, how was it working with Coach Simos this year? It's awesome. I mean, Coach is a great leader, and he's a great uh, coach, and <laughs> yeah, bonds us all, and these guys never quit. It's a lot of fun. All right, and uh, how about your experience? You had a great season. How does it feel to win the ultimate prize? Uh, I think it was the end goal, so it's nice to finally be here. I think we were all thinking about this from the beginning. Um, just come out, not have a spring season, do something good with the summer is really good. And uh, what was it like uh, playing with the, this team all summer long? And you guys just seem to have great chemistry out there. I'll tell you, it felt really good to win, but the bittersweet moment because it sucks not being able to be with these guys who we've called ourselves family for four years now. And uh, we're all going to go our separate directions, but we we'll remain a family. And uh, last uh, but certainly not least, how was your experience all season long, and how do you feel to be a champion? Uh, it feels great to be a champion, you know, like always good to lift the trophy at the end of the season. But, you know, this whole season's really just a family. It's a brotherhood. Couldn't ask for anything more. All right, guys. Well, uh, congratulations on winning the Senior Ruth Championship, and it was certainly uh, fun to cover you during the postseason, and we wish you all well. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number one.